Apple ended their scary fast event by revealing the presentation was filmed on iPhone. And that got me thinking, what if I went one better than Apple? Not just filmed on iPhone, but edited on one as well. And to make it more difficult, keep it to just an iPhone. No fancy cranes, tripods or microphones, just write, film and edit a whole short film on just an iPhone. How hard could it be? I'm going to be using an iPhone 13 Pro Max. It doesn't have the fancy cameras of a 14 or the log feature of a 15, but it will certainly do for the task at hand. Step one is easy. We've all made notes before, and this is where I've jotted down potential ideas for the short film with generic outlines for character and plot. Writing the script isn't too bad either. Definitely easier on a laptop with a full keyboard, but certainly within the comfort zone of using a phone. Filming, however, is a different story. With no tripod set up, keeping the camera still is a challenge, even with the stabilisation set to extreme. And because it's not on a tripod, I can't look away. I can't keep track of the script while the actor's performing, and I'm more focused on framing than their performance. And storage. Shooting 24 frames per second at 4K fills up the phone fast. Then there's audio. I'm capturing everything using just the phone microphone. I might be dealing future me a little bit of a bad hand when it comes to the edit. Editing on the phone, it's not that bad actually. There's a lot less space. Everything is kind of crammed in. And I've definitely had my moments. I've even accidentally disabled and enabled things with just the side of my hand. That's not great, but it's all right actually. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's fun, but, but you know, you can get the job done. And it's also pretty strange mixing the audio on AirPods, but I'm able to get a basic edit and grade together. Time to hit export. This is a film shot on iPhone, edited on iPhone. You are. Afternoon. Afternoon. <sighs> Afternoon. Afternoon. No 65 today. Well, she did say this time last year that she wouldn't be doing it anymore. Probably too old to handle the tech. It's not everyone's cup of tea. 65's just happy doing her own thing now. I get it. 28, is that you, you little prick? Hey, there's no need for that. <sighs> All right, you've got some nerve. Look, I know what you're gonna say. Lady and to be honest, I'm not sure why I bother coming. Because if you're just gonna be like that, you are so goddamn selfish. Take it easy, ladies. What's all this about? She stitched me up in last year's call and I ended me. You did it to yourself? Technically true either way. Right, that's enough. We haven't got a long time on this call and there are others here who want guidance, so tell me, what happened? Last year, I was speaking to 28 and, well, let's just say she knew how I felt about Charlie and I wanted her advice. I wanted to know whether or not I should go for it and if she was sure it wouldn't complicate things and she said, yes, go for it. And you just let me go through that. That heartbreak. Oh, calm down. I made it through it. I'm still here. It was just one night. One night? That crushed me. 32, why didn't you say anything? Which night was that? You're not kidding anyone except yourself. I knew. And I went anyway. So I know that you knew too. God, I wish I could see him again right now. I'd tell him exactly how I feel. 28, that's pretty cold to let 27 walk in blind. I mean, you're clearly still hurting. But we're meant to look out for each other. Isn't that what this blessing we have is all about? But you knew 27. I didn't. I, I was 100% sure that I was doing the right thing. You knew, but you buried it so deep down that you couldn't be truly honest with yourself for once. 
and you'll have to find it in yourself 26 because as much as you kid yourself you know deep down that you shouldn't go